Jeffrey makes fun of you for trying to eat clean. Look, look at him, everyone. Why is he eating vegetables? What a nerd. Jeffrey has a highly processed, unhealthy diet. He munches on a packet of crisps whilst preparing his box of Dairy Lee Lunchables, the child abuse equivalent of nutrition. Well, why are you on a diet? That's weird. Just eat some chocolate, you pussy. But you end up making progress whilst Jeffrey gets jealous. Jeffrey scrolls on Instagram, looking at ass. He scrolls onto a shirtless picture that you posted. He photoshops his pictures, guys. He can't be that big and lean. It's terrible. Jeffrey reports your Instagram account for promoting terrorism and he spends the rest of the day accusing people of taking steroids on reddit r slash natty or not. I've done both dirty bulking and clean bulking. For the first five to six years of my weightlifting career I ate whatever I crave. Pizza, sweets, pussy, McDonald's, so much McDonald's. Although I started to build a pretty damn good physique by the time I was in my second year of university that came with so much mental headache that I want to help you avoid. I'd gain too much weight too quickly which meant that a lot of the weight was just fat. And then I'd have to go on a cut sooner than I wanted. And cutting while still having the habit of eating junk food was so difficult. And so my cuts would take like 50% longer than they should have. This all changed over the last year. I've been clean bulking. I drastically lowered my sugar intake and this is what I look like now. I've learned so much more about nutrition and I started to understand how certain foods actually affect our bodies. Way more than just the simple idea that all calories are the same. I stopped eating snacks and I haven't been ate even once in 18 months, I started eating clean with way more vegetables than I'd ever eat before. Because of all of this, I've had a visible six pack since June 2020. Adonis. What kind of food do you think Adonis eats? Is Adonis the kind of man who would overindulge in sweeties and processed food? Or would Adonis feast like a caveman? Meat vegetables and whole grains. Adonis doesn't need the dopamine from processed junk food. He gets enough dopamine from pursuing his purpose, from conquering challenges and helping his tribe grow. He can't allow his mental and physical energy to be drained by poor quality food. Adonis knows that clean eating is worth it and he respects any man who delays gratification and prioritizes his purpose over pleasure. There are some advantages to dirty bulking. One, it's easier. But why do you want life to be easy anyway? men grow from discomfort and two it's tastier. But why choose the minutes of pleasure from tasty junk food over the years of fulfillment that being healthy gets you? Dirty bulking is where you eat whatever you want to get in your calories. That's usually a lot of fast food and desserts. Eating these foods can lead to diabetes, heart disease, and probably one of the worst illnesses, a lack of aesthetics. Clean bulking is where you eat foods that promote a healthy gut microbiome. That's eating a wide range, like a variety of fruits, vegetables, whole grains, beans, legumes, and fermented food. And you you've got to understand this is bigger than just our physiques. What we eat has a huge impact on our mental health and our ability to focus and get quality work done. What you eat affects the rest of your life. Do you want to live like the guy who eats fast food or do you want to live like the guy who takes so much interest into his nutrition, who seems so different amongst a population of unhealthy people? If this seems difficult, just know that the more you eat healthy, the more you start to crave and enjoy healthy eating. The more you eat junk food, the more you start to crave and enjoy junk food. So it'll be difficult when you first start, just like going to the gym was. But over time, if you trust the process and do it for your future self, it gets easier. And you might have heard Jordan Peterson talk about serotonin. Most of your serotonin is produced in your gut if you have a healthy gut microbiome. If you start eating healthier, you'll literally feel happier and more confident and less depressed. And you can trust me because I'm a bro scientist. You can have a look at all of the research that we've used in the description. There isn't that much of an argument here. So we know that clean eating is the way to go even when we're bulking. Yes, it's harder to get so many calories when they have to be clean, but nothing that we do on self-improvement is easy anyway. So what should you eat to, you know, be healthy and clean bulk? The Mediterranean diet seems to be one of the best. A lot of vegetables and the secret to fantastic tasty vegetables is to bake them in olive oil inside of the oven. It makes them crispy and taste so much better than boiling them. Have as many vegetables as you can eat. Have fruits, nuts, legumes like chickpeas and lentils. Oh, and the best fruits to have are blueberries and kiwis. Have some fish and seafood and maybe try to limit your meat and your dairy intake. Vegetables are the most important part of all of this. So many guys just like you struggle to get in vegetables, but it's just like getting stronger in the gym. You first start off not very strong at all. In other words, you won't be able to eat that many veggies right now because you're like a beginner in the gym in the kitchen, but slowly and surely you can progressively overload your vegetable intake. Any vegetables that you like. I like sweet potatoes, broccoli, and corn. Mwah.